Alert, Trump reveals epic plan to defeat North Korea, it's brilliant. President Trump is seeking ways to limit North Korea's threat to the U.S. and its allies, and his latest plan is brilliant. According to The Washington Times, President Trump has struck a deal with Japan that will improve security for both nations and see significant sums of money flow into the U.S. He's arranging the sale of large amounts of U.S. anti-missile military hardware to Japan. In a joint press conference with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, President Trump stated he, Abe, will shoot them out of the sky when he completes the purchase of lots of additional military equipment from the United States. The Prime Minister is going to be purchasing massive amounts of military equipment, as he should. And we make the best military equipment by far. With North Korea continually testing its intercontinental ballistic missile technology and looking at ways to nuclearize those weapons, Japan is rightly concerned it may one day be attacked and needs to prepare itself. In recent months, North Korea launched two missiles over Japan's territory as part of its testing and as a display of strength. During President Trump's visit to Japan, he met with Japanese Prime Minister Abe to discuss ways to combat this growing threat. At a joint news conference, President Trump said, the regime continues development of its unlawful weapons programs, including its illegal nuclear tests and outrageous launches of ballistic missiles directly over the Japanese territory. We will not stand for that. It seems that both President Trump and Prime Minister Abe believe that discussion needs to give way to action regarding North Korea. President Trump stated, the era of strategic patience is over. Some people say my rhetoric is very strong, but look what has happened with very weak rhetoric in the last 25 years. Prime Minister Abe supported President Trump's statement, saying the time for talk was over. There is no point in the dialogue for the sake of dialogue with North Korea. Now is the time not for dialogue but for applying maximum level of pressure on North Korea. Prime Minister Abe clarified that neither he nor President Trump wants conflict. But as North Korea's threat grows, action needs to be taken, I don't like it, Mr. Trump, neither. But North Korea continues its provocation against the international community, so we need to collaborate in the international community so that they change their policy. The unity between the US and Japan on the North Korean threat has been strong. President Trump spoke on the cooperation between both militaries. American and Japanese military personnel trained together work together, and will stand together to defend the security and sovereignty of both of our countries. The sale of military equipment to Japan will be immensely beneficial for everyone involved. Japan will benefit from America's increased defense technology should North Korea decide to attack their nation. The U.S. will also benefit as Japan's enhanced defense could provide a deterrent or even a first line of defense against missile launches targeting U.S. territories. The large sales will also generate numerous jobs and see major profits entering the U.S. economy. It's deals like these that prove President Trump was the right choice for the White House. His experience in business and capitalism allows for mutually beneficial deals that hopefully make American lives safer and chip away at the national debt, while defending foreign allies. Eyes.